Oh, so this is really interesting. Um, I was just <clears throat> gonna rake this little pile of compost out here. Well, I call it compost, soil, whatever you wanna call it. I just dumped in this raised bed last night. And this is a mix of uh, goat manure and sawdust, and then just more sawdust. You can see there's some hay and, and little bits of wood chips still in there, but the two primary ingredients is goat poop and sawdust from the sawmill. Now, goat poop, by its very nature, is usually pretty much considered a cold, uh, cold manure. You know, it's nice little pellets, and it doesn't really get all filthy and nasty. It's a pretty balanced manure, kind of like rabbit poop. That's my understanding, anyway. Now, the sawdust, of course, is pure carbon, so there is the potential for some composting there. Um, but I just didn't really expect it, I guess. So I had this stuff stacked up. Let's see, you can see out here past the, let me see if I can zoom in here, right there past the excavator bucket and between the beehives, you can see that pile. Um, I, I restacked that last night. Well, this, we just shoveled up from over there last night and basically it was two separate piles. It was a pile of goat manure and, and uh, bedding and it was a pile of pure sawdust. So as I was loading it into the tractor bucket, I was just kind of doing every other shovel full, kind of naturally mixing it that way. And dumped it in here last night with the bucket, so it was, it was heaped up, you know, just a big bucket full there. Anyway, think anything about it. Well, come out here today, just not 24 hours later, and this stuff is hot. I really wasn't expecting it just because I thought, well, you know, the goat poop is pretty balanced and the sawdust is, is too rich. So I guess I just didn't really expect the compost to happen that fast, but I mean that's hot that's almost uncomfortably hot and it wasn't that hot here today it was only about 90 degrees so that is 100 percent composting let me see if i just pull a handful down you might see some steam here if we dig down a little bit yeah, let's see if we can get steam man that's toasty that's toasty ouch ouch yeah it is almost uncomfortably hot <laughs> anyway that makes me really excited i just wanted to share it um just because, oh, look at that, there's a chicken bone. <laughs> that sucker's cleaned off, isn't it? Um, I really just wanted to share that to, uh, I guess, just talk about the, the most basic, simplest compost that I can get. Um, and for me, these ingredients are free. The sawdust is a byproduct from the sawmill, and, the, of course, the goat poop is a byproduct of goats. Um, so I'm really happy that it's, it's breaking <laughs> down, and it's breaking down so well. This is going to be... If I could guess, this is going to be just an absolutely amazing soil. Something we've been doing with the goats, I think I mentioned it in the video about the goats, was, you know, we have some bedding in there, directly in their houses. Um, but then what I also did was I took several bucket loads of sawdust over there and just dumped it in the open area of their pen where they walk hey, around. Dad. It's a high traffic area. Yes, dear? Um, you need to mow inside the jungle, dear. Why? Um, because look how tall the grass is. Yeah, it's pretty tall, but there's some short spaces in there too. I think you can get in there just fine. Um, so anyway, I did that. So basically it was a way to start pre-composting the sawdust. So yes, I had to touch it twice because I dumped it in the goat pen and then I shoveled it back up, but left it on the ground in the goat pen for a couple of weeks and it just gets, you know, stomped all over. They pee on it, they poop on it. So it's a good kind of pre-mixing, basically free composting, only it's not piled up in a compost pile. And that's what a lot of this is that you see here that's, you know, it has kind of the texture of sawdust, um, but it's nice brown in color. That's sawdust that the goats basically stained up by pooping and peeing all over it. But, you know, really interesting, even being that it's, you know, basically sawdust and goat poop, it has very little smell already. There's no smell of manure, not one bit. It smells like sawdust, if anything. So anyway, yeah, good, good compost getting started here which is good because that's what I need because this is going to be the starts to our fall garden hopefully we get actually something decent Daddy. out of the fall garden and it doesn't just get stunted like the spring garden I need did. To something. and you see the ground finally grew some some weeds and some grass but it wouldn't grow any vegetables so anyway yeah I know I've rambled again like I normally do but I just wanted to mention that again about the compost I was shocked by that just how quickly it happened I really did not expect there to be hot compost I just figured with the manure being already kind of cold and the sawdust being you know too much carbon i didn't figure it would really kick off a compost but it is it is absolutely kicking off and trying so i'm going to try to go get one more bucket load i think i've got at least one more bucket load cruise over here and dump it in might as well get in what i can because i've got to return the tractor to my father-in-law this evening so i'm going to try to get as much as i can filled up 
and then hopefully in the next week or so we'll get some veggies it's not so hot that it'll burn the plant roots i don't think especially not after a good about a week here and we'll get our fall garden planted hey dad okay well i mentioned this compost this garden soil as it's going to be the other day and i just wanted to make a follow-up on that in addition to if you will i went ahead and i put two more buckets in here but i just checked the two piles that i added the other day um the same day that i made the video talking about how hot this pile was here and it's good and hot now too so it's got a good compost started so well, i'm actually going to kind of change gears we're not desperate to get this garden planted just yet i mean for us for a fall garden yeah i could start one right now but we're still getting days in the upper 90s so not desperate yet so i'm going to try to let this stuff get a little compost on while it still can so i went ahead and shoveled this back up piled it back up so you get that you know kind of that kind of ideal compost pile that you know four feet by four feet or three feet by three feet or whatever get it piled back up because being spread out low it's not going to compost the same so I shoveled it back up i'm going to give it a couple days like this maybe a week whatever and then i'm going to come through and i'm going to turn this whole pile back over here into this into the bed or i can turn it down into that end although i don't have as much space down there but just flip the whole pile roughly you know and turn it and try to get it composting and see if i can't speed this along um you know in, in the next couple of weeks and get it to break down a little bit more um, just so it's a readily available nutrient and that it's not trying to sit there and still compost while i've got vegetables planted so just wanted to mention that kind of on the end of the video ideally this would be done you know offline i would have a big compost pile somewhere Daddy, else and then i would just go get compost when i wanted it i just never even thought to do that i haven't like you know i mentioned before i had my two piles one pile of manure and one pile of sawdust and i was I was starting a compost pile over there. Every time I would take the kitchen scraps out, I would dig a hole in the manure pile, put the kitchen scraps in it, and then cover it with sawdust. So I was starting a mix out there, um, but it was slow. I should have done that mix from day one, and I'd already had good compost, probably. So anyway, just wanted to mention that it is starting to rain as my lovely little help here keeps screaming. It is starting to rain on us, so I guess we'll go back in the house. But I just wanted to mention that I'm kind of backing up a little bit gonna try to let it hot compost for you know another week or two whatever i can get out of it um, but then we are going to spread it back down and we're going to put a fall garden in it and see how it does all right just another little excerpt for you guys here uh nothing special i just turned the pile again it's been three days i think since i turned it three or four days uh it's still plenty hot on the inside i didn't have to turn it yet um but i'm hoping if i if I turn it more often, maybe it'll break down a little quicker. I don't really know that or not. Um, but yeah, plenty hot on the inside. I went ahead and turned it and stacked it as high as I could going to this end, which has opened up quite a bit of space on this end. So it, it was a little, a little more difficult to turn it this time because I was having to kind of work slow when I started down there. I didn't have a whole lot of space to rework, but as I went, you know, and stacked higher, I kind of gained some ground. So now I've got a big opening on this end. So when I go to turn it the next time, it'll be a little bit faster um, to be able to flip it all backwards. I'm also working with a scoop shovel, which is kind of slow because there is hay and twigs and stuff in here that the scoop shovel doesn't really want to break through. Um, but my only pitchfork that I have, the head wants to fall off of it, so I need to get a different pitchfork and get that one fixed. But anyway, just figured I'd mention, turn it again. I don't really know how many more times I'll have to turn it. And I think even when I finally declare it done and plant into it, it's probably still not gonna be 100% broke down. Um, but I think it'll be good enough, so. Yeah, just wanted to mention, just turning the pile, and as I went through, I kind of picked out some, some bigger chunks of bark. There's one laying there on the ground, just, you know, pieces that are way too big that aren't going to break down. Um, they'll rot into the soil, or they'll get moved to a different compost pile. But anyway, I'm trying to get it all picked apart mostly so that it's just fines and the good stuff. So, got her turned. Let's give it some time again.